In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube style feed on your Squarespace website. So most of us are familiar with embedding videos into blog posts just like this, and it works really great. But if you are not really blogging or you don't want to commit to adding all the text and all the different elements, you just want an individual page on your website to display all your YouTube videos, this is perfect for you. So what we're gonna do is come into the back end of our website, select pages. Under the not link section, I'm gonna click the plus icon and I'm just going to add a blank page. We'll call it YouTube. And if I just hit edit here, we're going to add a section, add a blank section, and I'm gonna hit G on my keyboard to bring up my grid. And then I'm gonna add a block and we're gonna select gallery. And here's where you can decide the placement and the sizing of your YouTube feed. So we're gonna drag this all the way out to the edge of this grid. Now, if you wanted it full width, you would just drag it all the way to the edges. I'm gonna leave some space on the outside. So there we go. And then I'm going to click on this pencil icon. You'll see here there's an option to upload images. Now if we just scroll down a teeny little bit you'll see hiding out in the bottom corner here is a plus icon. If we click on this you can then add a video and all you need to do is grab the URL of your YouTube video. So if we go to YouTube I'll just select this one. I'm going to click share, grab the URL, come back to my website, paste it in, and you'll see here it automatically pulls in the title and the thumbnail. And I can always hit bin and replace this with another image if I want to. We'll hit save. And all you need to do is follow through this process again, add in all the videos that you want to display on your YouTube page. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more. So you'll see here, I've just added three for now, and I can change the order of these just by clicking and dragging them around. As I wish. And once I'm done, I'm going to hit design. Now here you can choose how you want to display your videos. I typically choose grid. You want to make sure that the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. If it's square, for example, it often comes in as a square and it'll crop it off. So we want to select 16 by 9. Choose if you want to display the title or not. Choose the number of thumbnails you want to display per row. So you might want to pull this down to two, make it a little bit bigger. You can also adjust the padding. And Lightbox is whether you want to just have the video play at this size on your page or if somebody clicks it, what will happen is it will pop up on the screen. It will display a much bigger width and the background will darken or lighten if you've got a light overlay and you'll be able to view just that video. So I'll show you exactly what that means by selecting it just now. And then if we click off and I hit done and save, you'll see here if I click on it, it will appear larger and I'll also be able to click through to the next one. Now this is sort of covering up the little X in the top right hand corner but it is here if we just select that it's going to bring us back to our page. So that's what the light box looks like versus just having it play at this size on the page itself. So it can be a really good for user experience because this can be a little bit small especially for users who are visually impaired. Now this is really simple but we can mix it up. We can add some elements for example if we come back into my channel I've got it broken down into playlists so one thing we might do is if I just grab this text just now and I come back in I can hit edit again I can click and pull this content block down to give me some space here at the top and click off add a block add text I could paste my text in here and I could change this to header 2 for example pull it over a little bit drag this up, pull this up. And then I've got sort of a section for Squarespace beginner's guide and I could create a secondary one for grow your online business, a third one from learn from experts. The other thing I can do is I can come up to the top here, look for the section break, add a section and I can introduce that page, either just having some simple text or if you have a YouTube featured video at the top like this, you could display that so that you can really customize it and make it your own. Once you're done, remember to check what it looks like on a mobile device. Here you'll see there's extra space in, so we'd want to pull that up. You'll also see because we added the text second, it will display secondary on this page. So we want to change that order. We'll just drag this up, drag this up, and then all this extra space in, we'll just pull this all the way up, hit done and save. When you're happy with how it looks and you're ready to show it to the world, remember to come up and pull it into your main navigation 
and people will then be able to click through and view your YouTube feed on your Squarespace website. Hey, if you like this video, there's a good chance you'll also like this one.